if I'm trying to solve a quadratic equation like this, I'm first going to want to look and see if I can factor. So in this case, I'm going to look at the um, 5, my constant term, and I want to see if I have factors of 5, which add up to my x term here. So 5 is a prime number. It's only divisible by 1 and 5. 1 times 5, the only numbers you can multiply um, to get 5. Or they're negatives, of course, but neither 1 and 5 or negative 1 and negative 5 add up to 2. Therefore, I can't factor, and I'm going to proceed, uh, in this case, using the quadratic formula. Now, the quadratic formula uh, gives us uh, basically a formula where we can plug in the values of the various coefficients and, and simplify it to find out possible solutions to x. Now, let's look at the form of that. So the general quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c. So in this case, there's no explicit uh, coefficient for the x squared. That means we just have 1x squared, or a is equal to 1. Our x term has a coefficient of 2, so b equals 2. And our constant term, our c, is going to be 5. a is 1, b is 2, c is 5. Now, I'm going to take those and put them all into the formula, negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac, etc. So I've plugged my a, b, and c uh, that I got from the equation into the formula, and I'm going to simplify. Um, let me start inside those uh, the radical. The radical is, has a plus or minus in front of it. That's going to, 2 squared is 4. Then I get 4 times 1 times 5. It's a minus 20. So you see what's actually going on inside this radical. Um, I'm going to end up with a negative inside the radical. So it's negative 2 times 4 minus, radical 4 minus 20 over 2. I have a negative inside of my radical. That's actually going to be negative 16. So it's negative 2 plus or minus square root of negative 16 over 2. You might look at that negative 16 because you know the square root of 16 is 4. So you might be thinking negative 4. But that's actually not the square root of negative 16 because if I multiply negative 4 times negative 4, I get positive 16. In fact, I don't have anywhere really to go here. Because this is negative, because I have a negative square root, I'm not going to end up with a real number. So my conclusion is that I'm going to have no real solution. Again, because this number inside the parentheses is negative, which comes out negative, there's no real number which uh, could be a solution for x. So whatever number, um, integer, rational number, uh, irrational number, I plug in for x, it is not going to make my original equation true. Now, I can find complex numbers which make that work, but that's a, a kind of topic beyond the scope of uh, what we're doing right here. So hopefully that made sense. Uh, when we try to solve the quadratic, we first try to factor, and if we can't, we can apply that quadratic formula. Thank you.